Hello my friends, welcome back to my Caliente Kitchen. As you know, I always bring you Caliente things. Today, we're going to talk all about rotisserie chicken. I have to tell you that I do buy rotisserie chicken from the supermarkets, Costco, you name it. You know, sometimes I'm just a little lazy, I don't want to cook a meal. This is an easy way, right? Or maybe you're in a rush and it's just a good way to actually get something fast in your house and some bread and salads, maybe eat it with rice. But now you're probably like, okay, I'm tired of adding in salad and rice. Well, let me tell you something. I have the book, the Rotisserie Chicken Cookbook. This is a hundred tasty recipes using a store-bought rotisserie chicken. When I learned, my friend Toby Amador wrote this book, I was like, this is the coolest thing because I always recommend to my clients that are always in a rush and don't have time to cook to buy rotisserie chicken and make meals with it. So this is the perfect book. Well, Toby is actually gonna join me. Toby Amador is a registered dietitian, my friend, my colleague, a best-selling author, actually for the Wall Street Journal, she made it to the best-selling list. She's a writer for the Food Network, a nutrition expert, a world-winning nutrition expert, and I don't know, she's written seven, eight books she can tell us. Hey, Tori, welcome. Hi, Manuel, I miss you. Miss you too, <laughs> give me a hug. Woo. I know, mean, virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> I miss our wine days. <laughs> I know, I know. So, Toby, uh, tell us a little bit about your book. I, I love this book. I know, I was so excited. Here it is behind a pineapple, see? <laughs> <laughs> and I was really excited um, because we also buy, I have three kids, I'm a single mom, and sometimes you just can't get everything cooked on time. So this is really easy to pick up in the store, but like you said, it gets really boring sometimes, you know, pick and dip. How many can you do, you know, how many times can you do that? Like you said, with the rice and the salad, how many times can you do that? So my cookbook has over 100 recipes using a store-bought bird um, and different things you can make. I love it. I know, I know. So we're going to make something for uh, today f for our friends here on Facebook. So I'm going to actually send to you now and show us what you're going to make today from your book. So, yep, so today I'm gonna to make from the appetizer section the a bruschetta, so it's a chicken bruschetta, so it's your uh, traditional type of bruschetta, but what I'm doing is I'm chopping up the chicken, which I did about one cup, um, and adding it to the mixture. So I have about three plum tomatoes, so I'm just putting that together um, in a bowl, and then I have my um, chicken, a cup of chicken, mm. I have eight, basil, fresh basil leaves that I just um, thinly sliced. Um, and then I have just two cloves of garlic, which let me put that, you need that garlic for the bruschetta. Yes. <laughs> and then I have it in a bowl. I'm just gonna toss this one a little to combine. I have olive oil, about three tablespoons. Okay, I'm still controlling calories here. I don't need a ton of olive oil, I just need enough. I don't know if you can see in there, but you just need enough just to wet everything up. Of course, salt and pepper, about a half a teaspoon of um, salt, eighth of a, te a teaspoon of pepper, and that's basically your mixture over there. Yeah. But before, what I did before is I have over here, um, I did a baguette, I had a baguette, I sliced it on an angle, it's nice, um, 24 pieces, and I toasted it, I brushed each side with olive oil, and I um, toasted it for five minutes at 350 in the oven. So now, with my toasted bread, that's it. All I Voila. do is I put it on top, mm -hmm. and I'm done. Good. You see how fast that was? I loved it, actually, and I love bruschettas. You know, I, I never would have thought about making bruschettas with uh, rotisserie chicken. <laughs> well, it adds, you know something, it also adds protein, so even if you want this as a snack, actually, my girls, I asked them what, when you, when you, uh, called me and said, come on, on the show. I asked my girls, what do you want? And they said, rotisserie chicken. But you can see I have leftover chicken. And what am I gonna do with this? It's really rainy here in New York. I'm gonna make a soup. Take me 20 minutes, I'll put together some soup. That's it, chicken soup. 
I love it. Well, I also going to make something from your book. You know, I um, was reading this book and it really has a lot of great recipes. Uh, you know, obviously from Cajun chicken melt and basic chicken melt. Uh, oh, I saw this from Mexican chicken. You can make meatballs? Yeah, I yeah. take the chicken and I put it in a blender and I, of course, add some other ingredients and you can actually make meatballs like that. Oh, wow, nice. So, um, I love meatballs and I'm going to actually check that recipe. I love this Mexican uh, chicken soup that I'm going to actually um, eye in it for tonight probably. But the one I'm going to make today is your easy uh, chicken zucchini bowls. As you know, I'm also promoting, I'm always promoting eating more plants. So I like to incorporate plants in my recipes. And this is why that one caught my attention. And again, it's super easy to make this recipe. So you got a, a preheat the oven at 350. We're gonna get that oven going here. And we're gonna spray a, a cookie sheet. I normally like to put a aluminum foil on top. Now I'm gonna only make three here because I know your recipe called for 12 boats for the amount. I'm showing a recipe card there too for this recipe. Now, uh, before I fill these boats, what we need to do is we need to mix, let me move this here to the side. We need to mix uh, chicken, the rotisserie chicken. And I love that you said marinara uh, store bought because you don't need to make your own marinara. This is a quick, easy recipe that your entire family can actually eat. Now we're gonna mix this up, and your recipe has to heat this up, which, by the way, I already did. I'm gonna bring that here. I'm gonna put that in here. Actually, I'm gonna use the same spoon. I can wash less things later. So I heat this up already. And then uh, what we're gonna do is fill these zucchinis. Of course, you have carved the zucchini in the middle. You make it like a little boat. Take the seat, the chicken and marinara. This is just such a great idea. I love the protein choices here with vegetables. And this is another great way to eat a serving of vegetable. And of course, I love zucchinis. And what I love the most of this recipe actually was that you actually added cheese. Because I love melted cheese everywhere. I'm a cheese lover. And this is mozzarella. You also recommend it if you wanna go into the lower fat content to buy parskim mozzarella you'll have your boats we're gonna actually show you because i already did them earlier today but before that before we do the taste i have a question for you uh, uh toby about toby's tips yep, yep, yep. you say size matters <laughs> oh so God. and i agree with you Right? When it comes to zucchini, size matters. Yeah, but I was surprised size. that you thought eight inch zucchini was a short zucchini. <laughs> oh my no wow. So anyways, yeah. I love it. So, you know, I was like, wow, I thought that was a large zucchini. But anyways, I guess uh, we have different views. So uh, now let's taste our recipes. How about that? Sounds great. All right. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It was so good. Mmm. Perfect garlic. I mean, and you know what? This recipe really took me less than 15 minutes to assemble. And I mean, it was like in a half an hour, you're eating a beautiful dish and so tasty, so nutritious. 
Mm. And delicious. I love it. Thank you. I so, love mine too. I'm having yes, fun. Yes, yes. Thank you for always coming out with amazing books. I know you have other books for meal planning. I actually oh. recommend your books to my clients when they're That's asking for favorite. meal plans because they are freaking good books. I have to yeah, be honest. This is tomorrow going to be released, end of October. We have three ingredient cookbook. You want uh -huh. easy? It's easy like this one. It's easier. So, yes. So those are I my favorite, it. super duper easy books. Yes, yes, yes. Now, um, anyhow, you can find your book on Amazon. I actually have yeah. added the link on the copy of the Facebook on top. So just click there and you can get her book and you will love this book. So go get your book today. And uh, of course, we all authors love reviews. We need reviews. Reviews help the book. So please write a review. And um, that's it. Anything else, Tommy? Just go enjoy your food. Uh, yeah, that's basically. I want everybody to enjoy their food, eat healthfully, enjoy their fruits and vegetables and plant foods, rotisserie chicken. I mean, go enjoy it and make it easier on your life. That's all. I love it. Well, thank you for being today. Uh, to agree to be with me today, of course. I know Anytime. I know you and I were planning on doing something together live, but then you know COVID happened. But hey, hopefully next year we can do something. Okay, I'm sending you kisses. I'm sending you, you lots of kisses. Okay, take care now. Bye-bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Take care.